we are less than a week away from the opening of the 2015 state legislature, and last week lawmakers began meeting with state department heads to identify priorities heading into the upcoming session. On Wednesday, January 7th, it was the Department of Business, Economic Development and Tourism's turn to present. Um, any plan for neighbor islands? Hawaii Island's elected officials questioned DBED officials on neighbor island housing needs, especially with the changes brought about by the June 27th lava flow in Puna. Um, with respect to the Big Island, um, we have the uh, Riverside project coming online um, this year. Uh, but um, the, I'm not sure exactly what we have in the pipeline. I know. There, we have some concern about our Nani Opuna project, which is in danger of being cut off by the lava flow and trying to figure out what, um, how we're going to um, uh, deal with what we anticipate maybe some dislocation, or there is some dislocation from Puna, Puna right now. Um, and um, uh, we're, we're uh, one of our, one of our interim directors on our board is Ed Tyra, the former county housing director. So, you know, we, we're consulting closely with him and trying to keep a tab on what's going on there and what possibilities we may have to work with the county on the Big Island. I also understand you're working with um, other agencies with regards to developments on public lands. Um, so is that similar to what you're talking about in Pahua? As we all know, most of the public state lands are on the Hawaii Island. Yeah, we well, we we need to we need to get engaged more and see what how we can be mo uh, most assistance in, in the Paho area because, uh, like I understand the uh, my understanding is the uh, rental market in Hilo is quite overheated right now. Uh, there's a real shortage. People are moving from Puna to Hilo, and uh, there's not a whole lot to rent, and the rents are going up. So you know, I, I, well, well, sir, well. We'll circle around with the county and the county housing director uh, and try to keep in touch with them and, and see what we can do um, and maybe also see what may, we can do about some uh, maybe temporary housing solutions. So are we looking at um, developing apartment buildings for rentals? As we know, you know, Hawaii Island um, has so much land and most of the developments with rentals, particularly in East Hawaii, are on, you know, are in single family dwellings. Um, you know, we don't have the luxury of Oahu where you have, you know, if, uh, apartment dwellings. And so the, the buildings, uh, the future developments for Pahoa region or uh, the Puna area, are you looking at single family dwellings or apartments, um, and I guess apartments are more affordable when it comes to rentals? Um, with In the immediate future, we're seeing what we can do on Lanakila Homes with the, well, see, actually we're trying to find out where, what the status of Lanakila, the redevelopment of Lanakila Homes is with HPHA, and whether there may be, say, some land available. That's the redevelopment, right, right on Lanakila. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and whether there might, HPHA might have some land there, we can do some maybe low-income housing tax credit projects on. So, uh, you know, uh, part of that, as you know, part of the problem on the Big Island, too, in terms of permanent housing, maybe uh, water and sewer connections and things like that. So, um, that, but that site seems to be um, particularly interesting at this time under the circumstances because HPHA was already redeveloping it. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Representative Onishi and then Senator Chen. Yeah, um, I have a follow-up comment to what Senator Inouye was talking about in Puna. Um, one of the things that uh, I would like to ask your consideration is when you're looking at uh, the East Hawaii situation and especially the Puna area, is that right now there has been significant impact in the DOE system with the migration of families into other areas on East Hawaii and especially with the schools. So any kinds of considerations that you guys are looking at in terms of, you know, housing development or areas to look at, you know, uh, uh, encouraging people to, to 
uh, maybe explore. Um, also, if you could make sure that you contact the DOE, because we're running into a situation where, especially in the Keao area, the, the uh, KKP complex, where the schools are now overcrowded, and there is no capacity for additional families to move, which may require additional busing of students from other districts into the Hilo complex. So if you could keep that in mind and, and make sure you contact or, or work in conjunction with the DOE in regards to uh, if there are families migrating from Pune, you know, into East Hawaii. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.